Greetings, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you how I make my deviled eggs. Now, these are great for absolutely any meal. It's a side dish to a meal, like if you're doing like a picnic style dinner or like a, a barbecue style meal, or of course something to pick out as you're having drinks. Doesn't really matter. They're fabulous, easy, delicious, and the best thing about them is that there are so many different variations of them that once you kind of have the basic down pat, you can mix this up a million and one ways. And I'd love for you to tell me what your favorite ways of making deviled eggs are, so that I can give them a try. But before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You need some hard boiled eggs, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Some, I use light mayo, but you could use regular mayo. Sweet pickle relish, Dijon mustard, some Tabasco, some grated onion or shallot, a little touch of salt, and some paprika. 40 eggs. My method of hard boiling them is incredibly simple and easy and works every single time, and they just, they're great. All I do is I take a bunch of eggs, put them in a, in a saucepan, or just, I, can, I like to do them a whole bunch at a time so that I have, I have some in the fridge to snack on, then cover them with about an inch above the egg with cold water, bring it up to a rolling boil, turn off the heat, cover the pan with a lid, let them sit there for 10 minutes, then you want to drain them, just run them on the cold water for a few minutes until they're nice and cold, cold enough to handle, and they peel like a dream. You don't get all the wonky eggs that have got the pieces missing, except for this one, because I dropped this in the pot, but that's okay. That'll be my personal one. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is cut your eggs lengthwise, and by the way, look at that beautiful yellow yolk. I hate a yolk with the green on the outside. It makes me cringe. It should be beautifully sunshine yellow every single time, and that my method really kind of Make sure that that happens. So, I'm just gonna take the yolk, pop it in here, and I've got my little egg dish. I'll pop the white right in there. Last one. Okay. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fork, and I'm just gonna mash up my egg yolks as much as I can. You can use, if you're doing like a ton of them, I suggest using a potato masher. Now, Obviously, deviled eggs isn't a traditional dish I'd have on my Italian sort of Easter table, but since I always like to have friends over, I like to do, like for Thanksgiving, for example, I always do a Friendsgiving the, the week before so I can celebrate with all of my friends because the day of, you're, you know, you're celebrating with family, so you really don't have the time to hang out with your friends, and I like to do that for every holiday if I can. Most holidays I definitely do, and we're definitely doing this Easter, and we're gonna be doing honey glazed ham, lots of delicious yumminess, some coleslaw, deviled eggs, good food all around, real American classics. All right, we're gonna add in some sweet pickle relish, and some light mayo. Now, the amount you use of mayo, and sweet pickle relish, and mustard, and hot sauce, and onion, it completely, it's up to you. I mean, I'm gonna list how I like them and sort of my written recipe for them on my website, of course, but to each his own. Some people like them with no, absolutely no pickle relish whatsoever. Some people can't live without it, and I'm one of those people. So, I added Dijon mustard, a couple drops of hot sauce. Love me some spicy and some grated onion. Now, I just took an onion and I grated it, and this is about not even a tablespoon for this amount. I'm gonna pop that in, it gives you such good flavor, you wouldn't believe it, with no sort of big pieces of onion running through. A small pinch of salt, very small, and I'm just gonna use my spatula to mix everything together until it's really nice and creamy. That's looking perfect. Now you could take a spoon, fill them in, perfectly fine. But since it is for a holiday, I like to take just a Ziploc bag or a disposable piping bag, snip off one of the end corners, and I'm gonna stick in just a large star tip. It's a little bit decorative, a little bit festive, and for a holiday, I'll go the extra step. Don't expect it any other time. Just gonna put this right in here, get it all out. And this really does, I mean, it doesn't look like there's a lot there, but there is. So have to trust that it works. All right, get all the air out, push all of your filling to the corner. Move this close and just fill her up. Just gonna 
a little bit more in there. I have a tiny bit left, so whatever you feel like, it's got a little bit less. Plunk it in there. That's perfect for me. And last and final step, optional as well. I like to take a little bit of paprika and kind of sprinkle it over the top. Sometimes I like to take some chives as well, but most of the time I like to do the chives one when I put pieces of bacon throughout the egg. Because I like that little bit of bite because in this one I put the grated onion so I don't want to be too harsh. Now these are great if you want to make them the night before. If you go into a big party, cover them with some plastic wrap or just, you know, if you've got a specific uh, platter that's got a lid to it, that's great. Uh, pop them in the fridge. They actually taste a million times better, to be very honest with you, because once it's got time to kind of cool and set, it, they just end up tasting amazing. Right, I'm just going to finish them up. Let's get into this. I'm going to take the wonky one that I dropped, just so that my guests don't have to eat the ugly one. They are exactly how they should be. Creamy, they're flavorful, but trust me when I tell you, make these a couple hours ahead, pop them in the fridge because they get much better as the time sits, as the time goes, because as they sit, the flavors all get to know each other. I, I can't even describe how good they are. Go to laurenandkitchen.com and get this recipe along with many others to make your Easter table perfection. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.